Thank God it's Friday. Welcome to the show. I am Mariah Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies. Hello, ladies. Morning, Mariah. How are you doing, Abia Jilu? I'm doing amazing. Any plans for the weekend? Uh, not yet. I don't. I, the only thing I see is being at home, trying to cook. I haven't been in the kitchen for a while. I know I, I have a help that cooks very well, so I just tell her what to do. <laughs> but I'm trying to make some delicacies for the family this weekend. So I would like to be there. Carrots, oil. Don't forget them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Add that to it. Okay, okay. I'll yeah. put it in the plans. Right. So I'm going to be making carrot oil. And um, it's good for the skin. Yeah. That's why I'm glowing. So I think <laughs> I would do, I'll be more in the kitchen this right. weekend, basically. Good. Nothing much to do. Good, hmm. good. Nima Akasha Zibiri. You, 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 you. Uh, How are you doing? Nima is happy today. I'm telling oh, you. That's so good. I'm not, I'm you're not happy, happy today. today. Your own. No I'm traffic. usually not happy. You the know, traffic. now you come because of traffic. So no, was there traffic I, today? So that's a normal, normal thing. Mm. So I'm happy regardless. I'm mm. just, you know, kind of... Uh, what is it called? Is this so, uh, sel, uh, solemn mm. happy? Mm. Okay. Mm. I'm so not excited, chatting, mm. happy, excited. So, but I'm always happy. I so, like your thank kimono, it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you to Wumi and Blessing. They just got, they got me this like one. that. Oh, they nice. got this for me. I love it. It turned out to be an abaya, so I told them it's not a weekday dress. It's for Friday. It's for the class of the weekend. <laughs> class to dust off my act and put things together and find out place for whatever yeah. I'll be advocating at the Wimbies on Friday next week. Good, yes. good. Mariam? I tried to call Morena came back. The number was switched off all through. Oh, so yeah. I, tried, I really, really tried to yeah. reach out. So Morena is, well, I'll, I'll try to get, give you the number. She lost her phone. Somebody. Mm. Yeah, I called yeah. the one you sent and mm. it wasn't connected. She wants to really go. Hi, there, Mariam. I'm <clears> doing <throat> fine. But first of all, you guys, you need to pay, you need to pay some sort of, is it, or how do you say, it's respect mm -hmm. to my makeup. Mm -hmm. Look look at me. You're glowing, girl. So I did my makeup. She took, of course, she took the whole of this morning to, <laughs> to, to do my makeup. Forever. It's, yes. I'm so afraid to speak too loudly, you I know, so I don't mess. Have to, I have to look for something to do, to somewhere to go, because yeah. I cannot take this home. Yes. Yeah, no, yeah, just, just, just because of the makeup. Uh, she can't just go and wash it up. What rubbish? Please, look at it. <laughs> it took hours to do yeah, this. Yeah. You look my amazing. eyes, under my eye, yeah. everything, you know, she took her time. Wow. Thank you that for always trying to make us yeah, beautiful. Yeah. But this is so ironic on the day that we're thinking Mariah I, I was, was actually going to... going to do like zero makeup, but I'm, yeah. just, I'm just so tired. I just feel like, you know, today nobody should touch my face. But they just said they that she's really like because of the cameras. Because our yeah. cameras are very, very advanced. You know, they can pick up every single thing. So just powder, you know, and some... I see how beautiful beauty. Mariah looks yes, with barely any makeup Yeah, on. barely is fine. I like yeah. it that way. It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Any plans for the weekend, Mariam? I have no plans for the weekend, except, okay, I need to, we need to talk about the, the bridges again. Okay. But this time is um, accidents that happen because, you know, I keep talking about these bridges that I ply every day back and mm. to and from work. So they are slopey and windy. And most of the time, I see accidents. Mm. So you have the big trailers um, hitting really tiny cars. There's one this morning. I'm just so happy that no lives were, lost. you know, were lost. But it happens all the time. So I don't know if it's the brakes, and then maybe also other drivers. You need to be careful. You don't, don't drive careful. too close, uh, close. close to the truck. Do not be in front of the truck. Mm. Give them enough space yeah. so that if there's a problem, they can stop before they yeah. hit you. But this happens constantly. Every day I see one That's accident or the other. Anyways, uh, this weekend I'm just uh, school has resumed the whole of November. You're going to school. Last week I had, we got a break, but okay. this week, okay. this whole uh -huh. month back to back. Uh -huh. It's not easy, man, but it's all good. Mm. We'll make it happen. Right. We'll make it happen. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll go through the front pages of the newspaper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. It's so good. Right, we're going to start with. The nation. Oh, I need more water in this. Yeah. The nation. <laughs> <laughs> Why operation show your ID must go on by military? Ex-minister Diazani, 14.4 billion naira jury for sale. Who's going to buy that? Mm. People will. Mm -hmm. WNTV, evidence of Nigeria's greatness, says Oshimbajo. Makine stops 67 billion naira uh, Ibadan Road project. Police rescue 15 chained in Lagos Church. Drama as Senate screens NDDC nominees. And a picture here, obviously, of another set of seized vehicles by Yahoo Yahoo Boys. Hmm. Okay, ex-minister, let's start with that. Okay, so Desiani's um, jewelry and um, luxury houses that have been forfeited will be 
auctioned really soon, and this was said by the um, um, chairman, acting chairman of the EFCC during the cybercrime um, seminar. He was saying that um, this time they are going to do it very, it will be more transparent, so it will be put out for the public to see. And um, they would not do it that usually when we auction things off, would price them really ridiculously yeah. low, even mm -hmm. though these items are still you know, in value. good, valuable and in good condition. Yeah. He says that the prices will be, will be fair, but at least it will be show, yes. And then he also mentioned that also um, cars, luxury cars, had been mm -hmm. gotten from um, internet fraudsters, yes, yes. and those ones too will be put on sale. But then he said something <laughs> funny. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. an association yeah. of Yahoo Yahoo mothers. Yeah. So they've come together and then they go to AFCC to beg on behalf of their children. Really? Oh, our child did this because his father left and so he has used this Yahoo Yahoo to take care of us. Wow. So we sympathize with you. Or no, we so empathize. Yeah. I, what I'm trying to say, we empathize, you know, that your I, children have to go, addition, but we do not sympathize with okay. thieves. I in, mean. in addition to what he was saying there, mm. there's this association of um, Yahoo Yahoo no, mothers. No, no, no. Their idea is for them to rehabilitate these children because they are very intellig intelligent okay. yeah. and they can use their intelligence for something else. So they're good. They're, the idea is to get these women to allow, th let these children come together and then help them to use this, their intelligence, you know. for something useful. I doubt it. Human interest. Human interest story mm -hmm. there. So okay. um, 15 persons between 19 to 50 years old uh, were rescued last night from an illegal healing church known as Blessings of Goodness Healing Church, operated by one uh, Mr. Joseph Ojo, a 58-year-old in, in Idimu. Idimu, mm. exactly. So the, when the uh, police got an intelligence report, got there by 6, 10 p.m. in the evening, and saw most of these victims were already in chains, and they've been chained there for over four to five years. Even when they released them, most of them could not work. But the police discovered that the parents of these uh, people and their family members brought them in because most of them were mentally ill. So That's they wanted the them to be healed. Exactly. So we've been, I, I think this is just an eye-opener you know, yeah, to what's been no, happening. No, this is, no, this is an not exposure just, on yes. how badly, how badly we failed in health sector when it comes to mental health. We've so treated mental health in such a way that we've taken it with levity, it's we've cursed it, we've put a negative meaning to it, and people would rather not be associated with people who go through it. Yeah. How would a person take their own child mm. because they have a difficulty rehabilitating their child and have them chained and dehumanized in such a way and they voluntarily sign up for that? So I want to say that long before now, Mental health was something that you you hid, mm. you did not show, and people did not even know where to go. So these religious homes were what were available then. Yeah, but yeah. now we're having that conversation every day about the importance of mental health and then where to go. I'd like and to then stop stigmatizing the um, hospitals well, where people yes. are taken. I'd, I'd also like to hear the Minister for Health and Commissioners for Health across know. states have a directive for this and how it will be. Maybe a proper sensitization on how people should treat mental health. A clinic and a first place of call for this. They should do a proper sense. So people start to see them as humans. Yeah, but They're not cost people you have to put in chains. Mm. We're after cross-border bandits, says military. Picture here of Nigeria <laughs> school. Nigeria school where boarding students pray against rainfall. 15 rescued pastor arrested at Lagos Torture Center. Ogun Assembly cautions customs against killings at border. INEC warns against blackmail grandstanding on Supreme Court judgment. Robbers capitalize on Long Bridge um, gridlock attacked motorists. FG constructing locust houses in 34 states, Fashola, and House OK's ground rules for Trump's impeachment. Okay. The picture story? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, so the pupils of um, Government Science Secondary School, Katungo, mm. in southern Gombe, they say they usually pray anytime rain is about to fall. In fact, mm. when the cloud gets, when it gets cloudy, you see them, they are panicking and they are praying because they have, uh, the, the, the buildings are dilapidated, mm. the hostels, there are no uh, good, uh, they, they have about 40, I think about 42 um, buildings in that school compound and only two are in good condition. The principal also said that he's made a report to the state government to come to their aid, right. that um, nothing has been done yet. So I just believe, they I hope that they will page. see what is happening and yeah. rescue so, them. So yeah. Let's so, talk about the gridlock. Yeah, so um, there's been a gridlock on the Long Bridge. Uh, and gridlock. yes, mm -hmm. um, beggar 
bus oh. stop, Lagos, Ibadan Expressway. So Julius Berger is doing uh, construction work there. So because of that, the road has been narrowed down. And so it's caused gridlock. Now robbers have capitalized on this. Um, dispossessing people of their valuables and it's been ongoing. There were so many eyewitness accounts and also victims of these um, robberies. But the police command is saying that they have not received any reports on these wow. cases. This is sad, really. And I think that um, I sometimes was, we should be proactive. I was in traffic because, a few days ago, mm. Maram, and right in my presence, three boys mm -hmm. were just walking around in, the, in between cars, yeah. looking for yeah, windows well. that are wound down, mm -hmm. down and then to pick it. And in my presence, they picked on somebody's phone. Oh, mm -hmm. is that not how they stole my phone? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, well, usually that's a norm in traffic in Lagos. Yeah. And the painful part was that, also in the story, one of the uh, victims, when they reported at the beggar end, police station because you know they had to wait to get out of traffic right. they said it wasn't within jurisdiction that's right. where we have a problem yeah. we needed a collaborative effort oh. of security agencies on that road knowing of course they that promised us they were going to do that there's going the to be traffic yeah. yes we were told that and we expect that it will continue but that's now we've allowed boys take advantage then. anyway let's move on to the nigerian tribune nigeria in war situation army reps Boko Haram members spread into various states that's operation positive identification kidnappers to get death penalty in kano says governor uh, Reps summon custom CBN, AGF, five others over alleged concession scam. Uh, Congress votes to formalize impeachment process against Trump. INEC will transmit results manually for Kogi Bayosa polls. And how Awulawo Enahuru Sholaru's achievement should inspire Nigerians, says Oshimbaju. Let's talk about this operation, positive yeah, identification. Yeah. So um, the chief of army staff appeared yesterday before the House of Reps, explaining how the operation um, positive identification will be carried out, saying that it will be intelligence-led, there will not be deployment of troops, there will not be roadblocks mounted anywhere, that the public may not even notice when this operation is going on. And one of the reasons they are doing this operation is because they want to identify fleeing Boko Haram insurgents. They have received news that most of these uh, insurgents are entering other neighboring states and even down to the southwest, so they want to curb it. And um, the lawmakers on their own said they're afraid because, you know, the way the armies have been trained, sure. they may just get into excesses when they get also, out also on the streets there. Also in the so story, there was an argument, but it's supposed to start up today. Barrister Femi Falana, the senior um, SAN, has yeah. sued the military for, for, the, take, for this initiative that, you know, is, of course, going to be an affront on our uh, human rights. The truth is, we don't have a bio database for that exactly. identification thing. What exactly will be the I form of identification that they will be using? What, how would they be checking? How do so you verify? I can always print an ID yeah. and show you. So if I don't have a, exactly. most people don't have driver li driver's license. Some people have fake. National. So how many people will you be holding down? The, 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 you know, I said yesterday, it's a good initiative, but there's this thin line of abuse mm. that we is might be crossing quickly. Are questioning, is it the military that has the right to do this kind of thing? Is, no, it's, it's, even, wrong. it's wrong because yeah. under the laws, our militaries are to you know to do yeah. uh, external uh, protection for the country. Internally, this is the call no, of the police, the agencies and, you're, and you're saying you have to do this. If you are going to do it, how are you going to ensure that rights are not going to be abused? With the history that we have, rights will be abused okay. on you. Anyhow. And money will even exchange hands after you Move on now. to the Daily Trust. Debt servicing gulps 8 trillion naira as FG6 more loans. Hmm. Ghanaians attack Nigerian traders over border closure. And army begins Operation Identification Nationwide today. Okay. So debt servicing, according to the Daily Trust, um, this government, Buhari's gov President Buhari's government, has spent about 7.9 trillion servicing debts between 2015 and 2019. And this, of course, is not sustainable. So they had um, people contributing, saying that, yes, because of a lot of... Uh, borrowing is not such a bad thing, but, you know, we do not use the money for what, whatever it is we borrow for eventually. There's also this diversion of monies to different things. And because of that corruption, it's not sustainable. The amount itself is huge. I can only imagine. In addition to this, our president is still seeking additional investment from mm -hmm. the United States International Development Finance Corporation, USIDFC, which provides about $60 billion. So even though we have that $8 trillion that's that's we are still domestic. having to get more. Well, but here they have said that there's investment for infrastructure. Yeah. And if it's infrastructure, hopefully it shouldn't go to recurrent. Quickly, go Okay, Ghanaian? Yes, so the Ashanti 
chapter of the Ghana Union of Traders Association are aggrieved that we closed our borders from them. So they said they have a lot of trucks of Ghanaian goods that were supposed to be brought into our country, but then we shut them out. Mm -hmm. And so they went into their markets and decided to close all the Nigerian-owned shops in different of their markets. Though their police came out to open most of the shops, but in some areas, they still need serious reinforcements to be able to open the shops. But the Nigerian uh, labor leader that's in the market there mm -hmm. is saying that they need the Nigerian government to do something about mm. it. But mm. They are saying, the, the um, Guta is saying that they want to get, there's a license they can get to stop Nigerian uh, from getting into retail selling. Mm. So they are working towards okay. that. Daily Sun, fears over bandit spread. FG to auction out Dezani's 4.4 billion naira forfeited jewelry property. Another tanker crashes in Onicha. Mm -hmm. Boko Haram, all Nigerians must be involved in fight against terrorism, says Buratai. Buhari, Abbas Anjo Tinubu, others eulogize Mobilaji Johnson. We have received over 1,500 applications for the admission into Real Madrid uh, Academy, says Wiki. <coughs> and Namdi Kanu should be in jail, says Judge. So mm. Namdi Kanu's um, lawyers came, you know, they had, they had filed a, an application to restore his bill. You know, the court had revoked his bill in 2017 when he jumped bail. So he was supposed to be a wanted man. They had brought an application for that and also insisting that the court should also prove, guarantee his security when the <coughs> bail is restored. Where, and that got the judge mm. responding that I cannot guarantee his security if he's not in jail. Yeah. which mm. is where he should mm. be, mm. because even judges now are no longer safe. So, oh, wow. And yeah. there were a lot of criticism that, you know, she made it personal, she blah, 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 blah. She, she, she overreacted, but the truth is, if you jump bail, you'll be arrested. That's the basic... Okay, line, yeah? Governor Wicke is saying that he has actually good. partnered with uh, Real Madrid to help um, train and, um, and train our youngsters yeah. who want to go into football. So, That's according great. to him, he wants um, the academy to be the best in the whole of Africa, mm. and they're working towards it. And so far, they've got about 1,500 subscri subscribers already. Yeah, in Onitra, okay. another tanker Tanka. mm. uh, fell into a ditch, and um, this time around, many people fled their homes, their shops, you know, and immediately the certified service also came, and they were um, spraying water and everything. Um, the police also arrested the driver. Mm. I don't know the circumstances of the how the accidents happened, but they said they've arrested him. I guess it's also important that it. the governor of the state also looks onto into the issues of road yeah. in that state because mm. you know he's becoming That's three tankers. Yeah. Like yeah. That's three so tankers. probably the roads are terrible. Yeah. And you know when tankers try to turn on a bad road, what they do is flip over. Yeah. I've yeah. seen yeah. Too, too many. The roads are every the uh, same tanker. I let the tanker go. Honestly, I don't. Eh? Once I see the tanker going many. down, mm. I just mm. give it down. Container terminals on my road are too many. When a container long truck like that, what the articulated turn. vehicle tries to turn, what you have is that you just flips and the container or the tanker is on the ground. Story, story of our lives in Nigeria. Every day. Moving on to Vanguard. Opera as army insists on operation identify yourself. Judge, judges kidnap. Edo government says efforts underway to, to secure the release. Bad roads. Lawyers protest. Give Ogun government 14 days ultimatum. And Buhari, Sanwulu, others mourn ex Lagos governor. Uh, let's move on very quickly to the Guardian. Government stops, stops salaries of ASU, others over the IPPIS. Reps split over armies operation positive identification. Um, hunters kill, arrest kidnappers in Taraba, Kanu, okays capital punishment for abductors. And residents flee as another petrol tanker falls in Onitsha. We talked about that mm. already. Okay, I guess ASU, like, according to the papers, uh, Federal government made good their claim. They are, they are actually their um, claim to stop salaries of okay. those in ASU who have refused to uh, register with the IPPIS. And going forward, they will not be paid salaries. And ASU is saying that initially they were planning to strike, but ASU has actually turned down, said they're no more striking. However, okay. they're coming back to the negotiation table okay. and to have a conversation. ASU That's has special. also said that they've created their own software that is a bit more localized, that they feel that they should be able to solve their own internal problems. Not, you cannot solve, stop corruption from the center. Mm -hmm. That they, their own software they is better. They collaboration. I, I fear for government. Anytime we have a policy against corruption, we also have an angle or whatever body saying, uh, this is what will work for us. Everybody that is a staff under us who is paid by the federal government, mm -hmm. they go back. So if the federal government says this is how we want to break, uh, deal with corruption within this mm -hmm. sector, it should be welcome. But you know, but if they are saying that they, are, they feel that the federal government software doesn't really solve their own problems because mm -hmm. of then their own... Then they should work with them, but they, to cancel that needs. thing for us. Because you have your own. Everybody. Okay, final paper is this day with 2019 presidential election settled. 
race for 2023 begins. That's pretty much it. And all the pictures here of Tinumbu, Yemi Oshimbaju, Kaya Defayemi, Tunde Bakari, Aminu Tambuwa, Nasir El Rufai, Atahiru Jaga, really interested, <laughs> and Peter B. These are the pictures on this day that people who are trying to, according to this day, vie for the presidency. Mm, Jaga is an interesting candidate. Well, it's sad that it's only one person from the Southeast. I would have liked to have about a couple of more options from the I'm Southeast. I'm sure we'll, we'll have. There's still time. Yeah, yeah. Now that you have mentioned it. Yeah, <laughs> we should, because this is not. OK, that's all we can take on front page review. When we come back, we'll discuss quite a few topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So being married sometimes to a man who is in love with his mother, they call him mama's boy sometimes, isn't always a bad thing. A man who is so close to his mother is so always perceived as a mama's boy, but in a negative way. But the man who is attached to his mother at the hip, however, might be more of a problem to other women. This is particularly if he can't seem to function without his mom. Join us to have this chat is a veteran actor, yes, our so. own mm. dear veteran. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oga Oga Kene. Oga Oga Oga. Welcome Oga. to the show. Popularly known as Andy. We know yeah. Andy. 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 <laughs> Andy. But um, it's good, good to have you, sir. On my pleasure. Mm -hmm. My okay. pleasure. Um, you can call us on 070 8066 You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Before we go into this conversation of Mama's Boy, since you are here today, we'd like to um, go back to what we talked about yesterday very quickly. Because yesterday on the show, we discussed um, women emotionally abusing their men. Mm -hmm. And our callers called in and said, we should have a man in the midst. There should be a man somewhere then in us so that women have that direct information from you and how we emotionally abuse you and don't even know it. Mm -hmm. So since you are here, let us use the opportunity to Kuku ask you the question now. Mm -hmm. the, how have you experienced, and from people call, telling you, I'm sure you have friends, I've shared stories with you on what women are doing that I don't even know they're doing. Some of the things we talked about yesterday, please re remind, remind us. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Mariam, yeah, so we, we heard that nagging is emotional abuse. We didn't, yeah. Most of us excessive didn't know nagging. that. We, yes, excessive nagging or tongue lashing, as Nima said. Then a lot of people talked about how even in intimate Situations they are being compared Me to, and, yes, the they are women. being compared to the, wa the woman's ex. Yeah. So, those are emotional abuse things that women would say the way they would say, comparing them maybe financially or otherwise to other men. Yeah. Those were sort of the things that were mentioned yesterday. So, we'd like to talk, ask you, sir, how does a woman or how can we understand how women emotionally abuse their men? Mm. You know, a lot of people do not understand that women are very powerful. They try to define a woman just from the physical mm. weakness vis-a-vis -vis the man. Mm. So you see that the men are physically stronger, but the women are psychologically stronger. Mm -hmm. And so when they abuse the man, mm. they abuse the man psychologically. Mm. You know, you are talking about nagging, but you know what? Nagging is even a more subtle way when a woman visits you with silence, yes. you know, malice, <laughs> everything is dead from her. Mm. And you know, a man loves that communication. So the psychological warfare against men is actually a very serious thing. Mm. And that's why out of frustration, men now voice it out through the physical Nice. You know, uh -huh, because they will not be as psychologically sound in relationships mm. Deal with you. like women. It's interesting mm. you admit and accept that a man might not be physical, no, might not be psychologically, psychologically sound. Because Very well, we yeah. always act to see the, that the, the men should know better. Mm. They should just know. But some yeah. men are saying, you have to tell us. Yeah, Very so well. We Very well. That's one thing women don't understand. A man is preoccupied with making money. Mm. You know, I was talking with one governor that time. I hope you will forgive me. And he said the, the duty of a man is to look ugly and make the money. Yeah. And the duty of a woman is to look beautiful and take the money, the money away from him. Mm. So you see, that looking beautiful is avoiding the psychological torture against the man. It's not just physical beauty, mm -hmm. but giving him that support. Men are 
working hard. Mm. In a developing nation, they are preoccupied mm. yeah. with the issue of trying to feed their family. Mm. So that vacuum, which a woman thinks he ought to know, no, he doesn't ought to know. Mm. His mind is too busy to know. Mm. Tell him. Mm. Sir, you, you know, there's a part of the scriptures that talked about it's better for a man to live on the roof. In the wilderness. In the wilderness. Than to stay under a roof with a nagging, a nagging woman. Very and this well. is just opening my eyes to see that we, we really have more powers than we know. Mm. Very well. And one of the things I've perceived is the fact that sometimes because we, we have endured certain things from the man and we do not have the physical power to attack the man, we resort to this Psychological manipulation. Work, yes. Yeah. So is, is there any way you think that women can be more outspoken with exactly how they feel so they don't get into resentment mm -hmm. and then start punishing, you know, when you're choking somebody pee? <laughs> Very well. <laughs> you know, happen? like I said, you know, the most dangerous thing about brilliant women is that they can still pretend they are doing everything for you. Mm. Hey, that's you know, it. You know that they are dead. dead. Oh. Yeah. There's a way they you call them in Yoruba land, Ete. Uh -huh. There's a, women are described as people who, who know how to do this kind of things you just described. Yeah. It's called women's wisdom. Mm. So you're upset and you just quietly act it up like everything is fine. You go back mm. home and you put together a warfare and nobody can suspect you. Oh. Good. And, and eventually the men will not be at the bronze that they are mm. the you know, brutes. Yeah. Now, <laughs> so what I'm saying is that in terms of the, you know, the balance, mm. a woman, a woman sets the atmosphere, the, the temperature of the home. That's why the Bible says every wise woman builds a house mm. and every foolish woman pulls it down it's with true. her hands. Mm. Now, when I, I watched one brilliant lady and she was talking, he said, the time is gone. When you go, everything, you ask your man, give me money for food, this, this and that. <sighs> Why not use this strategy? When you sense there's no money, cook the food, make it well, serve him, massage his back while he's eating. When you get to the room, Ask for that money. You will get it. Um, that that you thing know. came up yesterday. Good. So, but then, when you go through that psychological warfare, mm. you are destroying the man. Mm. You are destroying the home. Mm. At a certain point, the man will now be fighting between, I want to satisfy, I want to satisfy these people with the source of livelihood as in money. Mm. I want to satisfy my wife. He's juggling in his mind. What am I doing? wrong mm. because you are simply living a war he knows there's a war mm. Mm. he might not even know where the war started That's <laughs> the point. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's it's true. True. so yeah. eventually when you're even telling him he'll be like really are you serious <laughs> <laughs> then <laughs> the one that has not become wise will be like Hey, you call it your name. You mean you've been carrying this thing, you know? You'll be like, I mean, this is nothing. Mm. But to you, it's something. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. You know, so, you also, you talked about how a brilliant woman says that you take it to the other room. Oh, yeah. To ask some very questions. Well. But also, yesterday, when we were discussing, we we're also trying to define what exactly is abuse and what may not be abuse. So we, yesterday, I think we all agreed that taking things to the other room during that period of intimacy, it's like manipulating a man. Why is it not better to have those conversations outside that, you know, that atmosphere? Do what you're meant to do together and then have a conversation about other things outside that place instead of using that situation to manipulate the man to, to respond to you. All right, first of all, let me point out the basic problem we have. In a, in a developing nation, the woman tries to move ahead to share some of the responsibilities of the man. Women are now growing, trying to shoulder some responsibilities of the family, which is good. But a lot of women lose their femininity along the line. Mm. This is what. So they try now to be awesome. the man. Mm. Then some men now are also trying to try to see how they can fill up the gap of the femininity that a woman is losing. Mm. And he's now losing the masculinity. Mm. Wow. So, you see, so that, that, that problem is there. 
The solution is very simple. Go ahead and grow and try to share the body with the man, but retain your femininity. Mm. Retain. Hashtag yeah. retain your femininity. Yeah. That's retain it. That's what kill, you know, takes a man. Mm. God made it may, may that quickly... men will always fall for the femininity of a woman. Mm. Is that the reason why so. most men have mistresses? Because I've heard that you know, the, a man wants so much peace after yes. the hustle of the day that Allah. he doesn't want to get home and see you frowning and nagging sure. that. And there's somebody at the corner who, when he comes home, irrespective of what he has been through that day, whether he's bringing money or not, he's a good massage guy. him, Very rub well. his head. So he, no, 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 exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let, let us not feel that narrative. I'm just exactly. saying, because that's, that's, a whole, okay. that's, that's, a, that's a different show. It's some people's reality. I'm just okay. saying it so that we as wives, we we'll learn that we all can't massage okay. now. We no, it's not even that. <laughs> Let me even explain this mistress role since we have we have gone there. Mistress <laughs> is not making sure children are doing homework. You are Hallelujah. You know, cooking yes. food. A wife is doing wifely duty. Yeah. So whether we like it or not, you'll be under excuses. some sort of no, it's not excuses, so excuses. madam. It's reality. It's the reality that many women are going through. And as he said, a lot of women are also learning to shoulder some of the responsibilities of the home. The mistress, her job is to be there. So That's what, all. So what I mean, so her only responsibility is to be massaging and clean and, 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 and cooking shake, and shaking bum bum. That is not. Uh, uh, I mean, are you advocating? It, I'm advocating that the man should have a better way to communicate with his wife than because I also said that so yesterday. So a man, you know, for when she's overwhelmed. Yes. So a man would say, a man would say, to. my wife is emotionally abusing me. And so I have decided to just find someone else outside. Or, you, but the me. conversation does not happen. The only time the conversation happens is almost when you know there's a physical confrontation. But that conversation, a woman tends to say to the man, "I don't like this," over and over, and it's so called nagging. But the man usually isn't seen to speak a lot about how he's feeling yeah. or what he wants exactly. Yeah. But instead, he may go and start some other form of. So habit. I was asking him a question: mm -hmm. Is it the reason there's most no reason. men tend to go? to their mistress because they want that peace that okay. they cannot get from home. Mm -hmm. It's a question. Well, let me put it this way. Knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. Most men that are not knowledgeable will always fall to the trick of the mistress. Mm -hmm. She wants to get something out of you. Mm -hmm. And the only thing she has to offer is that pleasure. Mm -hmm. And so she has to do it well. Mm -hmm. So naturally, you would have to fall for it naturally. But you have to understand that that was the same way you felt for your own wife. And that's why I'm saying that the wife is losing that essence why the man fell for her. Thank you. And then, there's nothing wrong in... Some men are not thrilled when, if you're in the other room, that's when you bring your issues. Mm -hmm. Some men are thrilled. Study your man. Mm. There's no yes. one side fit all. Yes. yes. Now, some men, they love knowledge. They love to talk intellectually. Mm -hmm. So engage him. Like I say, you set the temperature of the home. Study your man. The Bible will always say, remember from where you have fallen and go back to your first love. There must be the origin of why the discrepancy started setting in. Mm. Go back. If you rewind, if you rewind, you get to the point. You say, yes, it is from here. What happened? Mm. Then when you study, then you'll be able to, you know, put your finger on it, mm. and then solutions will start coming out. OK, let's go on a quick break. Yes. When we come back, we're still in on this topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> wow. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So Nima had a question. Go ahead, Nima. So one of the things I have worked for women is that all the signs of an abusive man has been spelled out, his temperament, everything, watch out for it before you settle down. So when it happens within marriage, they simply say to her, did you not see the signs? But nobody says to a man, what are the signs? These are the signs to watch in an abusive woman. Mm. This is how to avoid an abusive woman. Woman. So most men just marry women thinking they've married angels Honestly, and they, they land there. Beauty. And they're still confused inside the marriage how to define whether they're being abused. Some people don't even agree. They, they find it weakening to admit that this thing is yes. provoking me to abuse mm. 
or that I can call it abuse. So what are the signs that you say to a young man who's dating a girl today that, you know, look for these signs and don't settle for her if she has them? If a woman cannot tell you who she is, if a woman, if you detect something like a lie in a woman, be very careful about her. Hmm. I prefer to deal with a bad girl who tells me she's bad. Mm. Because at least she's honest. Then yes, that than like, a good girl who I can find some lies mm. because all her goodness may have been manipulation. Mm. Mm. Yes, but a lady comes out, look, but this is new. Then what is the wife material? You know. <laughs> and you know what? When somebody is honest, the person wants to change. But the person cannot just change. Mm. So if you continue being patient with the person, the person will change. Mm. That's what about honesty, honesty yes. Mm. You know, look, oh, look, oh, I drink, oh, I drink, oh, as in from just a man. To drink. You know, then you will know that if he understands why he should not drink, he, means he will not drink. Mm -hmm. And any day he tells you, I've stopped. He it's means good. it, even mm. if he flips. Because he didn't have to mm. lie about you, it. You, you know, you know so. that some... Um, the way men, when yes. it's time for marriage, when they're dating, they are free to move around with different girls. True. But when it's time to marry, they want a specific kind of woman. Yeah. And most women have noticed that these men want <laughs> this specific <laughs> that yes. kind So of woman. they now paint themselves <laughs> Every woman like that tender. specific mm -hmm. and come to you. Only for you at the end of the day to realize, ah, ah, this market well, where yes, I buy. That light thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's the light. wife material thing. That's yeah. yes. There's a wife no. material, the kneeling girl kind mm -hmm. of girl. Yeah. Absolutely. Perfect you know, girl. what you compromise to get, you compromise to keep. Yep, mm. yep, yep. Yep. So, Back down. Yep. Back down. so if you're a lady and you morph into something else to catch your guy, remain in that yes, morph so up situation. For life. <laughs> because he's going to throw you out mm -hmm. when you now go back to your real self. Mm. Because he'll be like, this is not the lady yes, I married. married. You know so let, me, let, me, let me come to you, because I have to go back to this other room matter. One of the things we talked about yesterday was the fact that there are men who are inadequate or underperform in yeah. the other room. And women who have been experienced mm. verbalize it and say, oh, it's that it. You not try. Oh, now, wow. 40 seconds. Go watch seconds. Please. <laughs> you know, like, you know, so they yeah. kind of, they, and we, we, we discuss the fact that it hurts the men, obviously, but they can't express it. As a man, could you share with us how best should a woman communicate that's the inadequacy of her man mm. in the yeah. other room? Yeah, not trying. First of all, make, make him feel you love him. Mm. Mm. And make him feel you're satisfied with, with whatever he's given. Okay. And make him feel that it can be better. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I don't understand. But it now, can be better. satisfied even when you're not satisfied. That's what I'm saying. Make him feel mm. that he's wonderful. Maybe. Then make him feel that it can be better. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course. Now, you have good, better, best. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's not zero. It's just that it could good. be better. A man be is not as much interested in what you're saying as he is in how you said it. Oh. Hmm. You Body see? Mm -hmm. Good. Let me tell you, a man that, had, had, that was a bad guy before he married like I was, before I became a good guy, <laughs> Knows, <laughs> he knows himself. If he had been underperforming, he knows. Mm. Get a point. Because obviously, when he was dating the other women he was not married to, mm. they, they will be more forthright yeah. to tell him the truth. truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he already knows. Good. No, even if he had, he would have been going to the people of, yeah. of his class. Uh -huh. And it's worse for him because they would tell him, get that truth if he didn't have much. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they, didn't have a, they don't have anything to lose. He knows already so, that he doesn't. He knows. Mm -hmm. He's watching to see how you oh. will handle it. Oh. Let me take this call. Good morning. Are you there? Hello. 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 Good morning. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. All right. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Yeah, my name is Adira Me. Hello, Adiremi. Go ahead, please. And, um, I'm a first-time caller. Welcome to the show. All right, thank you. Yeah, I, uh, firstly, I want to commend uh, Mr. Kenneth Okoko. Mm -hmm. 
Thank yeah, you. you don't you don't judge a book by its cover. I'm really impressed. Your view your views are on point. Um, Thank you. Thank yeah, you, I want to say this. Um, I'm so surprised that uh, men generally always compare themselves with men. Emotionally, they are stronger. In in all, uh, men are physically strong. Yes, that is all we have. And um, you see, uh, a woman generally can can absorb so many things. For instance, let me just cite an example. Some years ago, I, I cheated on my wife. Hmm. And I, 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 I came home and I told her about it. And uh, all she did was crying and told me that uh, she was surprised that I could, I could tell her. I, 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 as a guy, cannot take it. Mm -hmm. And that, that shows how strong women are. Mm -hmm. The stress they go through, carrying the baby, Thank having, having uh, um, pregnancy, walking, and all of this. Thank you very much. Thank now, you, sir. Mm. Sometimes, yeah, can I, I, wanted, I wanted to flip this because so I, I had the privilege of speaking with a circumcised woman who hates having sex because of the pains. Mm. And she was trying to explain to me that <clears throat> this has been three months and I still don't, I just don't want to see him. So she doesn't know that he might be getting abused. She just has her own battles. Sometimes women deal with so much <clears throat> and society expects us to be able to cope. We are supposed to be multitasking. We are supposed to be able to do everything. So eventually when you finally try to communicate, I'm not trying to hold brief, but these are some of the main issues that we rarely talk yeah. about. Yeah. And when you finally want to say it, you just lose it. You never have a proper way to tell. You just seem like, what is that, you're selfish. And I was trying to explain to her that three months, or even two weeks, the guy should already be shouting. He's not doing you any harm. But she found it like, you know, people were not, you know, understand, sympathetic to what she's been through. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to have sex. She has two kids. She has tried to have them. I don't try. Now, you wow. understand? Mm. And mm. I was trying to hold brief for her <coughs> husband, but this woman sees it differently. How do men approach women now, approach their wives? Because, you know, we were taught to approach. When they slap you, they'll say, how did you tell him? Did you do this like this? Did you? So how do men approach women now to see whether there's a backstory to her character or to, so that they can um, collaboratively solve a the family problem. problem? Because this, of course, is like a family problem. Yes, you know, naturally, men are wired for sex. Naturally. So, but what happens is that when you now get married, you know, this is not going to be temporal. When you study your partner, just try to go the extra mile. For any human being on earth, there is something that wires you up. Mm. Don't define sex only from that physical contact. Mm. Let it be a comprehensive thing. Mm. If you have a lady, she has problem as in having the physical sex, there must be something you've not discovered that can wire her up. Mm. Hallelujah. The mumu button. There must be something. something. Yeah, attention. Yes, then when you are doing it, she may not even know again. Okay, let's slow down be because it's a breakfast show. So let's not get too <laughs> over the top. But we get the point. Yeah. Let me move to Emeka has been holding for a while. Sorry, Emeka. Yeah. Emeka, are you there? Well, yeah, good morning. Good morning. morning. Go ahead, please. Mm -hmm. I'm Hackett. Hello? You're live. Go ahead, Emeka. Go ahead, please. All right. Uh, good morning, ladies. This is the first time caller. Welcome, Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. So for me, uh, I started following the topic yesterday. I never missed your view any day. Thank you. So, uh, I've been following the topic since yesterday, and something just uh, boiling in my mind. You know, this is a combination of certain things. Um, first of all, I've been married for some time now. One thing before I got married, I had in mind is that marriage is all about love. But in marriage, I found out that the most important to is respect, right? Yes, exactly. You have to respect your spouse. If you have that respect, you will have the uh, air country to learn and unlearn. So what works for Mr. A doesn't work for Mr. B, and vice versa. So for me, having that ability to learn and unlearn is the key to, to, to all these things we are dealing with. Mutual respect. Because, and then, and then if you can learn and unlearn, it gives your spouse the ability to communicate better. Right. Yes. For me, I talk a lot with my wife. Even right on the, on, on the, on the job, you, you have to talk. 
Right. And men have to be sensitive. A sensitive man knows when you party the woman right. Mm -hmm. If you, the, you you should know, a sensitive man has to know that mm -hmm. there are spots you hit that you got, you just know is not present. Now I know a lot of ladies take this thing, but there are spots you hit and you hit it again. You know, look, this is not present. Now you have Thank to stand that spot. Thank you very much. You sir. have to stand that spot. Thank you very much, sir. So yeah, so I you know um, a lot yesterday when we were discussing this and when I heard a lot of the complaints that men had, and I heard some of the things that they complained about their wives. I was just, I was shocked <coughs> because for me, I feel that respect is just one of the most important things to look for in any form of relationship. Yeah. Yes. Even with my fellow girls, the f sort of person I'm more likely to be friends with is a person who is respectful, respects herself and is respectful, not even towards me, yes. but I'm, I tend to watch to see how that person it's treats others. people. So you know, uh, Nima was saying sometimes men do not know what to look out for. But I think that it would be hard to look out for all the f red flags. But instead, we should look out for someone who is decent in communication, who is decent in their relationships with other mm, people. I'm not a liar. So, yeah, so <laughs> when you're respectful normally with regular relationships, when you go into marriage, you have a respectful way of communicating mm. and relating with each other. Yes. So the question of comparing someone to another person, mm. especially in intimate situations, would not, uh, would not be right. done in a way that would be disrespectful right. to the marriage as well as to the person you know you are speaking about. I want, I would yeah, like, I want, let's take a few tricks. I want yeah. to switch yeah. it a bit. So, Moshida <clears throat> says, Mr. Kenneth Okonko is perhaps my best guest on the show for a very long time. Wow. Wow. Mm. His prior language and display of wisdom on this topic are on point. The point for me is women are the real maker of the home, especially emotionally. They set the tone always. Olamide Obi-Wan, he says, I'm really enjoying the conversation with your guest, Mr. Kenneth Okonko, so full of wisdom. Keep it up. Prince Tiamiyu Lawal <laughs> says, thank you guys for bringing my favorite Nigerian best actor on your show today. He's unarguably the most intelligent movie actor in the world. I love his character and also his political prowess. Ken Okonko, be rest assured that we love you and we love what you're doing. Oh, then official you. TMD says, the silence of a woman is dangerous, especially mm. when, the, when the man that she calls her spouse knows he has offended her in one way or the other. Mm. Then that is a big ball game for him because her silence defines so, so many things that could make him... Let's act. talk about this issue of mama's boys. Mm. And I'd like to hear your thoughts on it because... A lot of women complain the fact that their men are mama's boys, you know. They want their mother around them. Every decision on the home is best verified by mom, mommy. Mommy then decides what we do. <laughs> or every little secret between us, mommy gets to hear, you know. So they are so close and attached to their mothers. As a man, yeah. how would you help us understand how best to manage men like that? They're mama's boy. All right, now, there are two ways to this. Okay. Some people are not actually mama's boys, but the women by nature are jealous. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So they feel the guy married me and he's still giving more attention to the mother. Mm. Okay. Then some people are really mama's boys because by nature they are not matured. Mm. Mm. Even when their age is on mm. the high side. So they are not husband material. No, they, they are husband married. material, but they should get a lady that's compatible with them. Uh -huh. You know, the problem here is not who you are, but the compatibility with your, you know, partner. Hmm. And that's why I keep so saying... Mama's boy, get somebody who can also do it. Mommy, yeah. mommy, mommy, mommy. Oh. Some, ladies, some ladies come into the family and they become mama's girl more mm -hmm. than the, the boy. boy. Exactly. So I'd like us to and get... And the boy will now be like, this, to this girl <laughs> wants to even take my mother from Exactly. So, I'd like us see, to get to the tough it's, conversations. It's, like yeah. Just a year on the show, I met a lady who's, who was married to a proper mama's boy. So mama comes and tells her jump and she's not jumping high enough. Boy, slap your wife. That's the kind of situation. That's, 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 that's a proper mama's boy. So he puts, he puts that thing for me in perspective. Yes. Is he a mama's boy or mama? Mama now is the manipulative witch in the house who will not let the boy pray, who will not let them grow, who doesn't want him to progress, who's never that uh, mama who, knows, who believes her boy is mature enough to go, who wants to live in his life after living hers. Good. That's why I said maturity. Mm -hmm. Marriage is not for the boys. Mm -hmm. Marriage is for the men. Mm -hmm. like so that. you have to be matured. 
So if you want to marry an immature guy, you should be able to understand the consequences. Mm -hmm. And you will ask yourself, can I take this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you can, then fine. That means you live with it. You can practically live with anything applying wisdom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes, but you, you should know what you're going into. Yes. If you don't know what you're going into, then you are not matured yourself. Mm -hmm. So you must say, so if you're marrying an immature man who is a mama's boy, accept that that's who he is. Mm -hmm. If you want to complain before going in. Good. Mm -hmm. If you want him. Yes, then yes, be a mama's to girl to so fit in. Yes, yes. Yeah. So that the woman so will not have two children. I, I, I so like that. I'm not she's not good. adoptive of yeah, you, okay, if she's not accommodating you. If you don't like it, don't go in. That's the issue here. Mm. Okay, so uh, you see, me. this issue, okay, sorry. So. A lot of people make this mistake. Mm. He would change when he marries me. Bano. I would change him. Mm. That is wrong. Mm -hmm. what, if it's, what if he doesn't? Never. Then for life, mm. you're entrapped. Yeah. So what, there's what I call irreducible minimum. When you want to go into marriage, it's not dating. Mm -hmm. mm. Define what is your irreducible minimum. If this thing goes below mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. I can't take it. Mm -hmm. And if the guy is below or the lady is below that level, don't don't take it. then don't go in. Mm -hmm. I love that. So, mm -hmm. uh, irreducible is, minimum. Yes. Oh, okay. But if it is above your irreducible minimum, it's, it means, yes, I can bear this. Mm -hmm. I can handle out. this. Yeah. Okay. I want to ask a question on, like, if I'm a parent now and my child is about to get married to a particular person, and we know how young people who are in love can be. Yeah, Sometimes well. they do not see any flaws. <laughs> they are just happy to be with this person. Yes. What are some of the signs that I could teach my child going into a union like that to look out for that may be, that may be a problem in future? Like, what are the things to show me that this is a mama's boy? and this may be a problem, and then maybe show her how to handle this. If a guy does something and he doesn't know the reason why he should do it, he's immature. Hey. Mm. Yeah. So when I come to you and you do something, I want to ask you why right. did you do it? And if you tell me, no, this guy asked me to do oh. it. This lady asked oh. me to and do so it. That's how somebody did it. Oh, you know, you're not supposed to take responsibility. Don't take responsibility. Good. Oh, yeah. Like a six-year-old. But if you tell me, this is why I did it, even when you're wrong, so I, you, I, I'll you take it. The man has conviction mm -hmm. of what he's doing. He's, he's Good. man. So no man can tell a guy who does something and knows why he does it, because he will ask the mother why. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah. So, oh, if you ask me, if you ask me to slap my wife, I will ask you why. Why? Hmm. So it's very important that we we get the distinction properly because mm. I felt I was getting married to a mama's boy because uh, my husband was very respectful of his mother. Mm -hmm. He loved him so, loved her so yes. much. At that time, you know, there's nothing he wants to do that he doesn't run by his mother. So when I got into the picture, I felt mm, this one that is mommy, mommy is everything, <laughs> mommy is the world, mommy is this, mommy is that. Are you sure he's not? But then a few things happened and he was able to take a stand and say, no, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. Mommy, this is how I want it. So Even mommy. when he came to me and then I said, okay, he's not a mama's boy, he listens to me. And then I had another issue where the mother in question felt I had come to displace her of her position. You know, mm. it was a long battle, but then he made her realize that you are my mom, I love you, but this is my wife. This is my number one priority now. So at what point can you, you you've already given us some uh, ways that we can differentiate a mama's boy and just a boy who is respectful of his parents. What, yeah. I, what I've also learned is that mama, mama's boys are not, so, are not all that bad. Mm -hmm. If you can choose to accept it, mm -hmm. because he's saying there's a woman for every man. Mm -hmm. So if a woman is a man, is a mama's boy. And you are a woman that you are willing to go and wash yeah, Brahma's uh, clothes. You'll be all right. Because Brahma's boy too will marry now. But it took over the effect of Mama's boy is not just. You have accepted the effect. Some people don't want to accept it. So how can they tell the difference? Sometimes you may accept. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? A mama's boy. On the face of it. Mm -hmm. But there are some things that go down. So you have bigger issues, smaller issues, like mm -hmm. go and hang out in mama's house. Let me ask help her you, about, uh, you know. Manipulative mothers are mm -hmm. mothers who, on the face of it, they are angels. They are, they are mothers, and if some of them, most of them, have given their lives for their children. So the child, of course, is indebted. He's wondering why this girl walks in from nowhere and feels entitled to him. And the woman knows that. She uses it as a power. 
And in that marriage, whether or not the girl is a perfect girl who's trying to win her love, mm. she manipulates the son. The son. So we will talk about men who are men and they are trying to load it as a man, even over their mother, but they are being manipulated and they can't even see it. And a helpless woman who is in that situation, trying at, drawing a straws, trying to find life. How do you get mama to change? How do you win husband? <laughs> you are just turning in between, confused. You know, when we started this, I told you that the greatest power in a woman is that manipulative yeah. power. Mm. Emotional, psychological. You know, wives do it. Mothers, Mothers do it. Everybody hmm. does it. And that's what I'm saying. So if you are a guy, you have to maintain an equilibrium. Hmm. You have to maintain a balance. Bandito. Yes, you have to render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's yes. and unto hmm. God the things, hmm. that, the things are that are God's. Hmm. Your hmm. mother will always hmm. want to. Your wife yes. will always want hmm. to. Hmm. Then your mother is what she is to you and your wife is, is what, what she, she is, is to you. Mm -hmm. You when both of them know that this guy is on his own. They try to be real. Yeah, that's what happens. You know, so but when they know that this guy is unfairly tilting to one, one side. side. You know what? You can be compassionate, but let it be without sentimentality. Hmm. When you start becoming sentimental, you get into problems. Hmm. When a woman cries and it's only her tears you consider before taking a decision, that's really? being sentimental. Hmm. And she understands it that what comes to us, I'll, I'll give my tears. Abby? But when you're compassionate, he know, she knows that if you're crying and he is coddling you, it's not because he's going to do what you are saying, <laughs> but he's gonna, if he wants you to stop crying. Cry, yes. So Let's you know that even after this crying, the right thing will still be done. So it's good to be compassionate, mm. so but let it be without sentimentality. That you as a man have that equilibrium. That's that's you are your own person. Yes. Yes. Very they well. cannot manipulate you. Very well. Mm. So Please that's the solution. <laughs> okay. On that note, we are done this conversation. With this conversation, <laughs> we'll go on a break. When we come back, we'll now focus on our celebrity's career and what he's working on. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Wow. Jesus. Thanks for staying with us. <laughs> when you mention veterans, in other words, he's in the top five. Hmm. He's a Nigerian actor, lawyer, and politician who has been relevant in the Nigerian entertainment industry since its inception. We dare say, and he has won several uh, awards. Welcome with us again, Kenneth Okonkwo. So I usually do this, Dauphin, Sorry. for veterans. Yeah. But thank you for starting what we call Nollywood today, because that's where I got yeah. introduced to home yeah. movies and, and what we see now. Thank and you. Well, and the journey through, Mario, permit me for this. <laughs> because I, I just skip. For, you know, for this journey that we've gone through, what Nigerian Nollywood has become today, it's grown. We now do cinemas, we do. Mm. How do you feel? Just knowing that you were there at the inception yeah. when, yeah. when it was yeah. just, when it was there. Uh, when we used to put white video, powder video, video, <laughs> video, video, video cassettes. Video cassettes. <laughs> when it was cassettes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel fulfilled. Mm. You know what it means when you took a decision and everybody was thinking that you made a mistake? Mm. And it turned out to become one of the best decisions you've made in life. Mm. I was born from a bit conservative family. My father was a traditional chief. Mm. And um, he wanted, like every other person, your children should read law, oh, medicine. read medicine, <laughs> read business administration. I decided to read business administration and made one of the best grades in the University of Nigeria. Mm. They awarded me with a certificate for academic excellence. And now, after finishing the school, Rather than moving into becoming an executive yeah. gentleman, <laughs> you want to be an actor. Hey. actor okay. My father was like, excuse me, what's the, what's, what's the meaning of this guy? <laughs> but you can't make me to change my mind when I've taken a decision. Mm. I came with it, and I'm going to live with it. <clears throat> I, by nature, is an entertainer. Mm. But by nature, I'm an executive gentleman. Mm. So I had to make a balance between the two. So I moved into 
the entertainment industry. And immediately I came in, it was a pop prayer that was on mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. I went for the audition, that should be Ripples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanted to stay with the opera that is on network that can be watched nationwide. Mm -hmm. So that my father would stay in his house and be watching. <laughs> then I went in there and blessedly, when they watched me in the audition, they were like, wow, this guy is good. Something they about created him. a role for mm. me to act with their best stars then. Wow. So I started on Ripple. So when the bonded came on board, we were invited. When we were invited, every dawn celebrity was around then. Mm. And after the audition, the man was like, wait a minute. When I was writing the script, it was this kind of a guy I had in mind. <laughs> he has never seen me before. Mm. And then I was chosen to do the role, and it was quite challenging. Yeah. <laughs> the scripts then were not dialogued most times. It was in a story form. The prose. Yeah. So you had so to be the one. As an actor, wow. you have to be the one to formulate Jeez, the so dialogue. Story. And then the logistics were not as much as they were no. here now. We rehearsed for almost one month. Mm. And so we had to sleep on hard floor, especially me, because I was in all, almost all the things. So, but we were happy. Mm. So after the interpretation, you know, in the audition, that was what helped me. I was able to create, create intuitively. So after the audition, when we got into the set, shot the film, it came out with a bang. Yeah, it did. I went home sleeping an ordinary guy and woke up a super wow. celebrity. <laughs> just to you can say yeah. fashion, You know, well, that first one, the part one of it, mm -hmm. was more like a free thing, mm. you know. Well, I didn't go into the movie to mm -hmm. look for money. Mm -hmm. for yeah. I was already walking. Yeah. Uh -huh. I didn't even go to look for fame. Mm -hmm. I was passionate about it, mm -hmm. you know. From the time I was born, the way I talk, the way I walk, the way I do everything, people watch me as if I'm on TV. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it was just a natural right. progression. Right. Right. So, but immediately after that first Part one, mm. from part two, every other thing has fallen into shape. Mm. That singular film gave me fame and fortune. Mm. So from part two, I was able to sit down and say, this is what I want. Mm. And yeah. people pay me what I want. I never watched What's the reason okay. behind mm. this sequel. Because I know that the, the part one at that time addressed some issues. Very well. You know, issues uh, on greed. What has even progressed now in our society? Even Very at that well. time, we're even more, a bit more, you know, uh, conservative, even in the greed. But now it has become, it has become big. So mm. what, what's the reason, you know, for this sequel? And how are you taking cognizance of all the ills that we're having? Is it going to reflect in this particular sequel? Now, you know, living in bondage, is the first movie that started in Hollywood. Yeah. So it has become of historical relevance. Mm -hmm. A lot of the young ones do not have that personal attachment with the movie. Mm -hmm. So the ingenuity of the people that are behind this, Play Network Africa, owned by Charles Opaleke. Mm -hmm. He's actually the guy who originated this. Mm. You know, he met me at the, the U.S. Embassy when the ambassador invited us for some artistic display, and he told me about this. And I said, oh, that's great, because the actors were actually thinking about that. So we wanted the new world. We are in the 21st mm -hmm. century. Yes. Mm -hmm. The first bundle was shot in the 20th century. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Sorry, can I pause you? Somebody has been right. holding for a long time. So I totally forgot. Good morning, are you still there? Yes, I'm there. So sorry for keeping you. Go ahead, please. Well. You're live, you're live. Go ahead, please. Hello. Hi, you're live. Go ahead, please. Yes, I'm here. You're talking, talk to me directly. I'm here. Go ahead, please. Hi, Mr. Kennedy. It's Charles. Mm -hmm. Okay, Charles. He's listening to Hi, Mr. Kennedy. Yes, yeah, that Charles Opaleke. Yeah, Charles Opaleke. Okay, all right. All right. Oh, all right. Okay. Good. I'm blessed. And you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Right, he, he just called too. He just heard your name, man. <laughs> 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 
Oh, well, well, yes, yes. That was just storm. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, he was that was just storm. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, he was okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. He was right. saying he wanted to capture the 21st century. Yes, we wanted to put Nollywood in the perspective of how he started mm. using the 21st century equipment. Mm. 21st century mm. actors and actresses. Mm. We wanted to internationalize it. Nollywood is no longer a section of things, a Nigerian thing. Mm -hmm. So we wanted everybody now to have that mm. feel yeah. about living in bondage. Okay. And you know, I am no longer living in bondage. Yeah. 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 I've broken free. Okay. <laughs> so this new one now, like you said, the first one reflected the society then. At the time. At the time. That was why everybody tuned into it. Yes. The very first one we brought out had no subtitling on it. Mm. It was the clamor of the people who could not pick every word in it mm. that made us to go back to the studio and subtitled it. And that's why it was able to start the home video in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So presently, we felt that that knowledge, which living in bondage portrayed, had actually gone to a higher level you know, in those days, people were analog, even in their ritualistic mm. mentality. Mm. But now they've gone digital, digital. even in their ritualistic digital. mentality. Wow. So we needed to reflect it. Mm. And that is why you are seeing the reality of the modern world. Yeah. That yeah. private jet you saw, it's mm. not make-believe. Mm. Those beautiful, lovely cars. When I shot the first one, I was dialoguing London. Mm. But now they had to go to the natural places. They were in Durban, they were in mm. South Africa. Wow. Yes. Every. So they shot around the whole world. <laughs> so this is the beginning of another beginning. Mm. This movie, we showed it to some journalists the day before yesterday. They couldn't stand up until, until yeah. it's finished. <laughs> Even when they were changing the you know, PC from one to the other, they stood up and they started shouting, no, no, and they started counting, <laughs> five, four, oh, and I'm sorry. like, are these journalists or they are <laughs> the spectators? You know? So <laughs> that strength of that Nollywood, that's living in bondage, has doubled now wow. in this particular Fantastic. one. Interesting. <laughs> I and remember so, growing up. Uh, you, know, you know what I want to yeah. say? Mm. If anybody watches this movie, and it's not like more than I'm saying it. Come and I'll give you your money for it. Wow. <laughs> OK. So the story, when it first came out, for some of us, we couldn't watch it. Our parents did not allow us to watch it. They say it was teaching bad things. You know, mm -hmm. so I understand sometimes we, ha we, we this is a conversation that is being held now, which is how we're using videos, our movies to pass a message. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've heard people from other African countries say, oh, this is how Nigerians are, they're ritualists and things like that because of the sort of movies that we, the sort of stories that we tell in our movies. I'm wondering if this particular sequel tells the story of redemption, tells the story of um, how best not to do certain things and paints the Nigerian for who he, he the, the Nigerian with integrity and hard work and, you know, being able to cast away things like that. And if it doesn't, is there a plan that you have for stories, positive Nigerian mm -hmm. stories? Mm -hmm. The beauty of living in bondage is that it's all encompassing. Mm -hmm. okay. It started and it ended in redemption. Mm -hmm. So it's teaching you how the bad things end badly and how you should not do things bad and do something good. Mm -hmm. That's okay. the whole essence of it. Right. And that's why in this sequel, <coughs> as you can see, I'm a man of God mm -hmm. in the sequel. This one. I shock when I see you. <laughs> <laughs> so telling you that the whole essence of living in bondage mm -hmm. is the triumph of good over mm -hmm. evil. Okay. Good. But there's something we always miss out, especially in our conservative African society. If you cannot convince somebody you were a prostitute, you cannot convince the person you had become born again really? after that. Mm -hmm. So they just want to see you painting the lady that has become born again when you did not, not the convince person. the person that she was a prostitute. So movie is about reflecting the reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, movie is not acting. Movie is real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. 
So, somebody bedeviled the Nollywood back in the days, and I wonder, with this movie, the budget <laughs> that you would have, budget mm. that you would have put into <laughs> producing this movie around the world, yeah. how have you put this, um, you know, cl uh, clocks in place to curb piracy? Because, you know, that was the major setback then well, to your well. growth as an industry. Now, with this movie, with what you've spent and what I can see, the quality of shoots. Yeah. Ah, what have you put in place to, you know, to curb piracy and ensure that, you know, actors are well made um, um, for this? You know, you know I, th I think the owners of this work are really digital. <clears throat> I am an actor and I'm going to be paid some royalty. Okay. Telling you that they really want to accord to hmm. the modern ways of doing things. Yeah. That's why I say this movie is the beginning of another beginning. Mm -hmm. So all those things we sacrifice then, you know, mm -hmm. they are seeing the need for that. But it's the primary responsibility of the government to protect the lives and property of the people. Yeah. It is a question which only the government can answer. And that's why we want to hammer it on them, that they have to come on board. This is the best export Nigeria is making right. around the world. Yes. When I went to Thailand to represent Nigeria, one brilliant professor was telling us that they dedicated about three different police commissions to fight cybercrime as at more than 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. So we have to know have that to as we are moving digital, we have to go digital in the fight against yes. intellectual yeah. theft. Mm -hmm. So the government should come in here. Nollywood started without governmental support. So the least they can do is governmental mm -hmm. protection mm -hmm. because that we can't do on our own. Mm -hmm. So the protection of the intellectual property of the people is very, very important. Mm -hmm. They said if you want to hide anything from a Nigerian, put it in, in a book. book. But the truth is that the authors are not even writing because anything you put in the book will not it's give stolen. you anything. Mm -hmm. It will be stolen. Mm -hmm. So. Uh -huh. Uh, the government has to okay, do we something. We have to wrap up um, very soon. You wanted to ask one more question? Yeah, so um, what were just some of the challenges you faced shooting this? Because I know it's a very uh, huge project. This present one. This present one. Massive. Um, you know, was a you know, director, director, director yes, yeah. and he did a very good job, you know, on that. You know, as an actor, I didn't face much problem. If you were sleeping on the hard floor when you started, mm. and you are now it's quartered in a very pleasant five-star hotel. Five -star yeah. hotel. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, oh, come on. Yeah. 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 We have to wrap up, but I don't want to close so, this show without mm -hmm. asking you this personal question. All right. Um, you pride on self the fact that you don't cheat on your wife. You said, you said, I read somewhere that you say you don't cheat on, you've never cheated on your wife. Uh, I said something like, like that. that. Okay. <laughs> okay, regardless, but the point I was trying to make is that yeah. you seem like a very knowledgeable, mature man. What could have gone wrong in your first marriage? What, what was that thing that happened that could have made you break off the, that marriage not work? Mm -hmm. And what, have, how, what, what lessons did you learn that is making this second one very successful and yeah. happy for you? I am not going to dwell much on that. That's something my wife taught me just like a week ago. She said she has learned now that one plus one is five. And she will say, you must be very right about it. Mm. That is how, you know, relationships should be. Zero argument. When you argue with your wife, you, are, you exchange ignorance. Mm -hmm. Because the truth is that you know what the truth is, both of you. Yeah, if you had right. stayed for five years, 10 years, you know the truth, you know your husband. But one of you wants to get an advantage, and that is what is bringing argument. So now, in my home, for instance, one plus one can be five. And the other party will say, you are actually correct. Right. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So, but like I said, there is what you call irreducible minimum for me. If you enter a relationship creating the impression that you wouldn't cross it, if you cross it, I, I can take very drastic decision at times as a man. I can take some decisions that are very drastic. very drastic, and I hardly go back on it. Now, I wouldn't want to dwell into that. Okay, that's right. Uh -huh. that's but this is working because of compatibility. Mm -hmm. The other one did not work, not because anybody was 
outrightly bad or good, but maybe incompatibility. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And, um, On that note, we can end the show. That's fine. <laughs> let me not, let me not <laughs> you. look you too much. But thank you so much. Well, it was such a pleasure coming. having you on the show. Fantastic. Fantastic. Right. Thank you. That's all we can take on the show today. I hope you learned as much as we did. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoy your weekend. See you Monday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.